So overall, I can tell you that I'm very happy with GetResponse and I can definitely recommend it if you're looking for a solid email marketing solution. Also, if you're an affiliate marketer, I can tell you that you won't have any problems putting affiliate links into your emails. I've heard that other email marketing softwares like for example MailChimp don't really support affiliate marketing, which is why a lot of affiliate marketers actually change to GetResponse. All right. What's up, this is Simon and in this review video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the email marketing software GetResponse. So that after watching this video, you'll know exactly if this software is the right thing for your business. And if you watch until the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to download a template of my personal email automation sequence and also of the welcome email that I send out to my new email subscribers. So you can just download my template, import it to your own GetResponse account and then use it as a basis for your own email marketing system. And as this is a review video, I'm gonna focus on giving you a quick overview of the software and also share with you my personal experiences that I've had with it the past three years that I've been using it. The goal here is to give you a feel for the software so that you can eventually decide if you actually want to go with GetResponse for your individual business. But if you eventually decide to go with GetResponse, I do have an in-depth tutorial here on YouTube that will teach you step by step how to set up your email marketing system within GetResponse. I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description. So the first thing that you see when you log into your GetResponse account is your dashboard. You can customize your dashboard by adding different widgets and moving them around however you want to. Personally, I like to see an overview of all the different email lists that I currently have and also see some stats about the last newsletter that I sent out to my email subscribers. When you start using this software, the easiest way to navigate through it is by clicking on the menu button on the top left corner. There you see all the main tools of GetResponse. I'll give you a brief overview of most of these tools in this video, but first I want to talk about lists. The way you organize your email contacts within GetResponse is by adding them to different lists. So the first thing that you need to do is create a new email list. If you already have an email list, you can either add each email address manually or what I recommend, you can just import your entire email list. Once you've created a new list or imported your existing email list, you can set up the emails that you want to send out to your subscribers. To write and design your emails, you'll be using the drag and drop email editor within GetResponse. Whether you create an email for a newsletter, an autoresponder or an automation message, you'll always go through the email editor to create it. You can choose from tons of different templates for all kinds of different sectors. Personally, I find all of them look quite professional and if you have a company and want to send out such kind of newsletters, it's really easy to just change the text and get a well-designed newsletter within a couple of minutes. Personally, I like my email to look a little bit more personal, which is why I mostly just start with a blank template and just add some text without a lot of designs. Inside of the editor, you can just drag a text block into your canvas and edit the text. There's also other things you can add to your email, like for example, images, buttons, or social media links. You also get a preview of what your email will look like when opening it from a smartphone. Personally, I like this email editor and I never really had any problems with it. You can do a lot of fancy stuff with this, but I personally just use it for simple text emails with a couple of links and maybe one or two images max. Within GetResponse, there are basically three different ways you can automate your emails. The first one is by sending out a simple newsletter. This is a one-time email that you can send out to all of your subscribers approximately at the same time because you want to let them know about a current event. I, for example, send out newsletter emails to my subscribers whenever I upload a new video on YouTube. A cool thing you can do here is use the feature perfect timing. GetResponse actually tracks whenever your email subscribers open your emails and then determines the best time to send out your email to each individual subscriber. So by activating the perfect timing feature for your newsletter, you can pretty easily increase your open rates by just clicking this button. And it also helps to not end up in the spam folder because you're not sending out all of the emails at once. The second way of automating your emails is by using the autoresponder. This is a very simple way of setting up an email sequence. So what you can do, for example, is prepare five emails that you want to send out over the course of five days to everyone who signs up to your newsletter. Just create a new autoresponder for a specific list and add the five emails. Then whenever somebody is added to your email list, those five emails will be sent out in the order and time period that you've set up. Personally, I don't use the email autoresponder at all because everything you can do within the autoresponder you can also do within the email automation tool, which is the third way of automating your emails. This is in my opinion the most powerful tool of GetResponse. There you can set up an entire email workflow for your email subscribers. 
Here's an example of what you can do with this feature. So we start with the first block, which adds everyone who subscribed to a specific email list to this workflow. Then we want to immediately send them a first message, which is our welcome email with a link to our free ebook. What I can do then is add a condition to check who actually opened this email. To everyone who didn't open the email, I will send the same email again after two days, just with a different title. Then everyone who does end up opening any of the first emails is going further in the email sequence. One day later, I'll send out the next email. The ones who didn't open any of my first two emails will be automatically removed from my list because those are inactive contacts or fake email addresses. I can also add conditions checking if people clicked any link in the message and then assign tags to people who do. This way I can segment my list and send people down an email sequence that is customized based on the actions that the email subscriber takes. Another feature I like to use is the splitter to split test different email titles and messages. So for example I can send 50% of my subscribers one email and to the other 50% I send another email and then check the stats to find out what email works the best. You can really get crazy within this email automation feature and you can actually create email workflows that last for months and keep making your money on autopilot by promoting different products to your subscribers. I hope this quick example gives you an overview of what you can do within email automation. And like I've already mentioned, at the end of this video, I'll show you exactly how to download my personal email automation sequence that you can then import to your own GetResponse account and then use that as a template. Another important feature within GetResponse is the tracking. For every email you send, you get statistics for how many people actually received your email, how many actually opened it, how many people clicked any of the links, and how many people unsubscribed from your email list after opening the email. These are all valuable metrics that you want to analyze to learn what actually resonates with your audience and what doesn't. And when you go back to the dashboard and click on reports, you have access to a lot more analytics and information about your email subscribers. Things like demographics, different devices or subscription methods. GetResponse also has a tool that you can use to build landing pages, forms and surveys. I personally only use the landing page tool which works quite similarly to the drag and drop email editor. There you also have tons of different templates you can choose from. Designing a landing page is quite easy and you do have all the basic functions you need. However, if you've been using a software like ClickFunnels to build your landing pages, you'll notice that there is room to improve here on GetResponse. What I'm missing, for example, is the possibility to split test different landing pages, which you can do in a software like ClickFunnels. But I currently do use the GetResponse landing page tool to save some money on yet another subscription service. However, if you do want to use another software to create your landing pages, you can easily integrate them with GetResponse so that everyone who signs up on your landing page will be automatically added to your email list within GetResponse. Nowadays, you can actually use GetResponse as an all-in-one email marketing solution. They recently added a feature called AutoFunnel that allows you to create sales funnels and basically do everything from Facebook ads to landing pages and checkout pages within GetResponse. Personally, I haven't tried this feature yet, so I can't tell you how well it actually works, but I do like to have the possibility to have all the components of a sales funnel within one software, which should make it a lot easier to integrate everything. Things I've also never tried is the webinar tool and the CRM feature. I'll make sure to create an updated review when I've actually tried those features. One thing that I can speak about is their 24 hour support, which in my experience works very well. Whenever I have any questions, I just click on the chat box on the left side and type in my question. There's always someone online who can answer my questions and also help me out with screenshots and even short video tutorials customized to my questions. I think I actually never had to wait over a minute to receive an answer to my question. So I can definitely say that they have very good support. Now let's take a look at the pricing of GetResponse. Like I said, they do have a 30 day free trial, so you can try out the software with all the features and you don't even have to give them the credit card information when you create an account. Then after those 30 days, if you like the software, you can choose one of the four available plans, the basic, the plus, the professional or the enterprise plan. For a very basic email marketing, the basic plan should be enough to get started. However, what you don't get in the basic plan is the email automation workflow feature, which is in my opinion a must if you wanna take email marketing seriously. I currently have the plus plan, which allows me to use all the tools that I've showed you in this video. If you don't run over five email marketing campaigns at the same time, and if you don't have over 100,000 email subscribers, you don't really need to look at the professional or the enterprise plan. 
personally I recommend you get the plus plan and you'll have everything you need. What I do want to point out is that the bigger your email list gets, the higher the price will be. So for example, it's $49 per month for up to 1000 contacts and then $59 per month for up to 2500 contacts. Actually, most email marketing softwares have this kind of pricing. So overall, I can tell you that I'm very happy with GetResponse and I can definitely recommend it if you're looking for a solid email marketing solution. Also, if you're an affiliate marketer, I can tell you that you won't have any problems putting affiliate links into your emails. I've heard that other email marketing softwares like for example MailChimp don't really support affiliate marketing, which is why a lot of affiliate marketers actually change to GetResponse. So that's all I have for you today. If you want to support me and my channel, all you have to do is click the thumbs up button under this video. That would really help me out a lot. And also, if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comment section and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, subscribe to the channel and click the little notification bell next to the subscribe button if you want to see more videos and tutorials about email marketing and affiliate marketing. Like I said, I already have a one hour in-depth step-by-step video tutorial here on YouTube about how to set up your email marketing system within GetResponse. You can check that video out down below in the description and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.